Hi, it's Hannah Orden, Rabbi of Congregation Beth HaTikva, coming to you remotely uh, from Summit, New Jersey. This week, one of my congregants sent me a text message and said, uh, Rabbi, is there any Torah wisdom about patience and faith? Because most of us are feeling the anxiety of uncertainty that we don't know how long this situation with the coronavirus is going to last. If we only knew it was going to be two weeks or two months, whatever, that, it, that would be easier. So I was feeling like kind of not that good a rabbi because I couldn't think of anything uh, from the Torah or from Jewish texts uh, that spoke to that. And then I went to bed, and the mo next morning I woke up and I thought, I don't think that's who we are as a people. Patience is just really not one of our virtues. And I started thinking about the Torah, and here we are in this Torah portion. This, th at this point, we're just ending the book of Exodus. And the Israelites are in the wilderness, and we all know that they end up wandering the wilderness for 40 years. Now, are they patient and faithful? Do they sit there saying, oh, we know that God is going to bring us to the promised land. All we have to do is have faith and be patient. No. That is not what happens. In fact, the Israelites spend 40 years wandering around the desert, fetching the entire time. Why did you have to bring us from Egypt? You know, why, what, that manna that you provide us, we're tired of it. We don't have water. We're tired. They just complain and complain. And think about last week's Torah portion with the golden calf. Now, just think for a second. These people have just had God reveal God's self on Mount Sinai. God has done all kinds of miracles for them, split the sea for them. And then Moses goes up on the mountain. Are they patiently waiting at the bottom of the mountain saying, we have faith Moses is going to come back and we'll just sit here and wait patiently. No, they don't do that. They make a golden calf. Okay, so you get my point. We are not the most patient people in the world. However, we do have some other incredibly great qualities. One of those qualities is the importance that we place on community. And this week's Torah portion is called Vayakel, which is the verb form of the noun kehila, which means community. Now, English doesn't have a word for that. There is no verb for community. But the idea is that Moses brings the people together in that moment as a community. He causes them to be a community. And we have basically been, ever since, making community our strongest feature. And I read something in the New York Times this week where they were talking about community is about protecting each other. And the irony that right now, what we need to do in order to be a community and to protect each other is to stay away from each other physically. But that doesn't mean that we can't still have that very, very strong sense of being a community. So community is a great thing. And then the other thing that Jews have in spades is resilience. If you think about the history of the Jewish people, we have had to face incredibly difficult circumstances far more difficult than this. And over and over and over again, what we have done is adapted to new situations. We have recreated ourselves. And that's exactly what we're doing now. Things are not normal. We can't do things the way that we usually do. That has happened to Jews many, many times throughout history. So we will reconstruct and recre recreate and renew our ways of doing things, and we will not only survive, but we will thrive.